Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com and, you know, theming or skinning your Android-powered phone hasn't really been that easy outside of maybe changing your wallpaper. Now that's something that a lot of OEMs have tried to accomplish by pushing out customizations to the Android operating system, which in turn has really delayed their updates to newer versions of the Android OS. Recently, Google came out with uh, Android Gingerbread version 2.3 and with that, they promise to make that theming and skinning process a lot easier. Well, to see exactly what they meant, all we have to do is look at an app called Theme Chooser, originally by T-Mobile, but released into the open source. So let's go look at a couple themes and generally how Theme Chooser works. <laughs> Okay, so what I've got here is a T-Mobile G2. Now this is running CyanogenMod 7 Nightly 8. Now that's important. You need to have something that's the release candidate of uh, CM7 or above to be able to get this little guy. And that's the Theme Chooser app that I was talking about. It's not available in the market. It comes with the CyanogenMod ROMs. And it's actually something that was developed by T-Mobile and released into the open source. Now what this lets you do is change a whole bunch of stuff. You can see my icons down here have kind of a orange appeal to them, if you will, an orange theme. And my power menu has orange buttons. My battery and my network status indicators, of course, are orange as well. If we come over into settings... We'll come in and look at uh, display really quick. You can see my check mark is orange. When I tap on brightness, my brightness uh, horizontal divider line here is orange, and I've got a nice orange glow. You notice I don't have theming on my status bars just yet. That is actually a drawback to not to the app itself. Uh, but it's just something they haven't been able to tie into yet. The theme is actually built so that as soon as that's opened up, it'll uh, go ahead and theme those as well. But really kind of cool stuff that you can do with it. Now, let me show you how this works really quick. First and foremost, I have a separate app in here for a wallpaper chooser. So if we long press on the desktop, go into wallpapers, you'll see I have a new wallpaper entry called Orange Octane Wallpapers. Go ahead and select that. And here are all of the wallpapers that this theme developer has put together specific for this theme. But of course, one theme isn't all that impressive, so let's go ahead and take a look. First and foremost is Androidian. This is one of my favorite themes. It's, it's green-based, but up here in the bars, including the bars in your uh, in Gmail and your menu bars and whatnot, you have this cool little background image on the bar. It's not just a flat color, so that's really kind of neat. Skipping over Blue Bionic, we have Cyan Bread, which I showed you in a previous video. Skipping over these two, we have the system, and that's just what comes default. Now, these themes you can either install with an APK, or you can download and install from the market, and I've installed these from the market. So let's go ahead and take a look at Red Remix, because we've just looked at Orange. So we'll look at Red, we tap Apply, it applies the settings, and there we have it. Now, of course, we need to go in and change our wallpaper. And we're going to change this to one of these. Let's choose this one right here. And sometimes the wallpaper doesn't take the first time. So if you come back in and try it again, you should then have it. Kind of a, a little inconvenience, and I really didn't see that until I started shooting the video for you. But some things here you'll need to reboot your phone to be able to make apply. For example, you'll see my market icon is still the orange theme. If I reboot, that's going to be back and it's going to be a red theme. Another thing is if you notice when I tap and hold on my icons, I've got a green glow around them. Now that's a setting that I can do in the Cyanogen Mod settings. Right over here, Cyanogen Mod settings. I can come in here and change the color of my highlight to be whatever I want. And this theme developer has gone the extra mile and provided hexadecimal codes to set that glow so you can make the glow match as well. So let me go ahead and show you one more. And that is the blue bionic. Go ahead and set that. And then we'll set the wallpaper to match wallpapers. You'll notice down here that I no longer have the red or orange. I only have blue bionic wallpapers. So that menu matches the theme. And again, I ran into my didn't apply the first time bug. 
So we'll go ahead and set that, and it looks great. Now one thing that I do want to mention is I'm running Launcher Pro Premium, and that lets me set the wallpaper, or excuse me, the, the dock background image uh, down here, and I just have that set as grass, which I think is kind of neat. But you can also grab a whole bunch of uh, background image packs, and I have an article on that over at pocketnow.com as well to change that, and you can make it match your theme uh, as you will. So really kind of cool. This started out as a T-Mobile venture, was released into the open source and then of course picked up by some of my favorite developers out there. It's really kind of cool. All of the themes that you've seen here, including the theme chooser and the wallpaper picker, are free. They're available in the market. The th and of course we'll have links to those over at pocketnow.com, so head on over to the website to, uh, to download those. The themes, I do want to mention that they come free, but there is a donate version as well. If you think that these themes are great and you want to support the developer to uh, hopefully make some more of these really cool themes and really cool wallpapers, go ahead and download and install the donate version. They're only a couple bucks, and that's just a signal to him that says, hey, I like the way that these look, and I want you to make more. Uh, it's a really good way to give back to that developer. All kinds of cool stuff. So this is what Google was talking about when they said Gingerbread would be able to have theming capabilities built in and really move away from having to have custom launchers to change the look and feel of the Android experience itself. I think they've done a really good job and I'm eager to see what else that can be done with this and I'm sure we'll see that progress in the near future. If you'd like to see what can be done in the future, of course the future isn't here yet so you need to make sure you subscribe to our video channel so that you can stay up to date on all this cool stuff as it happens. And if you like seeing this stuff, give us a thumbs up so that we know that you want to see more of this stuff. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.